Alright, one of the students actually asked me about this question and I find this question a little bit different and unusual with the normal probability question you do all the time. And I guess this one shouldn't be the MF question. It shouldn't be the math, uh, the modern math questions. Alright, so in this question, um, Ben has the bags contain four red marble, six yellow marble and three green marble. So if Ben is taking out five marble at a random, from the bag without replacement, calculate the probability that Ben will take out at least one yellow marble in the simplest form. So for this kind of questions, the difficult part is um, there's so many possibility if you want to like find out at least one yellow. So that means over here they ask something like uh, the yellow color must be at least one. But because here they have a condition which is uh, that must take out the five marble so like at least one there's so many possibility that's mean you you actually you need to do something like uh, yellow equals to one i mean not zero i mean yellow equals to one plus the yellow equals to two plus the yellow equals to three up to five because over there they say at least at least one right so and then they must select five marble so you need to sum up all of them this one I would say uh, it's the longest way. I would not say it's a difficult, but actually it's quite difficult also, but it's, it's longer way compared to other methods. So because just two mark over here, so I will not choose the first method, but maybe in the end of this video, I will teach you how to solve using the first method. And I hope we also will get uh, the same result. But if you insist want to use the first method, yeah, you can pause the video and try it now. <laughs> Alright. Okay, if I don't want to use this method, okay, so what what else what alternative method I have? Because we see the word at least. Because in probability topic, if we see at least it means what? It means I can use the one to minus my the probability I do not want. Isn't it? So over here, if the question says five marble over here must be at least one yellow, that means I do not want the yellow equals to zero, isn't it? So if I use the one to minus the probability of getting yellow marble zero, then basic then basically I'm getting uh, yellow is one, two, three, four, and five. So therefore, this is the method I want. However, if you want to do one minus uh, probability yellow uh, yellow marble equals to zero, you also you have two way you can do it. Okay, one of the way is the most common one. So one minus. Okay, if yellow I want to get zero over here, what I will do over here is I will not separate my marble in the red, yellow, and green. But I will do is something like this. I will call my mar marble of yellow, number of yellow, I have six, and number of non-yellow. So for red and green, I will actually categorize them into the non-yellow parts, which is seven. Because I have four red marble and three green marble, if I sum them up, I actually I will get seven here. So what happens if I do not want to get any yellow color uh, marble here? So I will make sure the first marble I select is non-yellow. Second is non-yellow, third is non-yellow, fourth and fifth also is non-yellow. None of the marble here is yellow. So, Alright, so I will want minus. Alright, now because the question actually tell you what, the question actually tell you about without replacement. So when you do this sort of question, you must be very careful because a lot of students will just do something like 7 over 13 and then power of 5 because you have 5 of the same one. But because this is without replacement, so you cannot use the... Uh, straight away power methods. So what I can do over here is non-yellow. I have seven Number of sample space basically is both sum together in it yellow and non-yellow, which is 13 All right, so if I want to select the non-yellow the first one it will be 7 out of 13 Then the next one is basically without replacement. We know just minus 1 for top and bottom in it So the next one is 5 12 4 11 and 3 10 Alright, so basically I multiply them and then I use 1 to minus them. So, oops, I make a little bit mistake. I hope you can see it. <laughs> yeah, because the second uh, sample space I forget to minus. This one should be 12. This one should be 11. This one should be 10. This one should be 9. 
Alright, it's because you need to minus 1 for numerator and denominator. So therefore, I can type in the calculator. I hope I quickly can get the result I want. Okay, 4 out of 10 times 3 out of 9. Alright, and then I use 1 to minus my answer. I basically get 422 over 429. Alright, this is one of the way I guess most of the students will choose. Alright, of course there's other way which is faster. I can use the 1 to minus my probability yellow get 0, right? So, you learn about combination. Actually, you can use the combination method as well. The combination method tells you what? Alright, so if I want to select all is non-yellow, from non-yellow here, I have 7. I want to select 5 of... Uh, I want to select 5 non-yellow marble out of the 7 here. So which is 7C5, isn't it? And then the denominator will be a sample space. Sample space, basically, this is what we will do is, we, this is the total, right? So we total, we have 13 marble here. And then I need to select 5 as well. Select 5. Right, then you type in the calculator, you will get the same result as well. And this method actually is uh, much more faster because you no need to work out each of it. But just depends, some students might think this method actually is quite hard for them to understand. But if you are good in combination topics, this one shouldn't be too difficult to understand, right? This is how you select, this is how you select five of the non-yellow. And then this is how you select five from the sample space. Alright, you get the idea, isn't it? So, okay, this is the two methods I will actually recommend you to do this kind of uh, two mark or three mark question, but in this case, it's just two mark. Okay, just now I say in end of this video, actually, I will teach you the longer way. So, let's check it out. If I want to do the longer way, <laughs> it will be uh, much more complicated than you think. Yeah, that's because you have a lot of things you actually you need to do if you insist you want to find more than one. Okay, because what? I give you some idea first. Okay, so let's say the first one. Uh, for the first one, let's say probability, I want to select only one yellow. One yellow out of the five marble here. So my logic over here is, okay, maybe... The first one I select is yellow. Then second one cannot be yellow. Third and fourth and fifth all cannot be yellow already, right? Because you can only be one yellow. However, you might not necessarily will get the first. Uh, you might not necessarily get the yellow in the first place. That's mean maybe in the second time only you get the yellow. That's mean the first one is non-yellow. Then second time only you get the ye yellow, and then the other three time will be non-yellow. And then the yellow can move again, and then it, and then this yellow can keep on swap because of this. So you know, basically, you can use this probability, and then multiply five because your yellow you can swap five times. Right. So the first one is still okay. That that means you can insert the value and then you multiply five. It's something like okay. Just now we know number of yellow is 6, number of non-yellow, I mean non-yellow will be 7, isn't it? And sample space is 13. Alright, so this one, if I want to select yellow first, it will be 6 out of 13. And then the rest will be non-yellow, so it will be uh, 7 out of 12. And then will be 6 out of 11. And then will be 5 out of 10. And then will be 4 out of 9. And then you use this result, multiply 9. Alright, and then I can type in the calculator quickly to get some idea like what answer I will get here and then multiply 5 out of 10 and then multiply 4 out of 9 and then multiply 5 not 9 all right and then multiply 5 and then you will get 70 over 4 to 9 okay this is 5 which is not 9 all right but when you go to the yellow equals to 2 this one will get a little bit crazy if you want to do manually which is you because this one five is very easy i mean this five is quite easy to get because you only have one yellow and then the way you can move is only five way but then if you have two yellow everything will get a little bit complicated of course i i know total of the way will be 10 but you might ask me how i get 10 um 
of course I can do a try and error and then I get 10 because this one you can move one uh, your second yellow into one two and three but then you not necessarily must begin with the yellow right you can begin with a non-yellow and then you can have something like this isn't it and then this one can move one two and then and then this this two you can move to the third place third uh third and fourth place and then can be fourth and fifth place and so on All right so how how are we going to know there's a 10 ways so um okay if you learn about combination you basically you understand a little bit something like this all right okay if i want to arrange these five uh this five marble which have yellow and non-yellow these two is the same and then this three is the same so if let's say this two is the same is the two factorial this three is the same we call it three factorial but total i have five five marble right so this is how we will do so we we will do the five factorial to arrange all the five marble here but because the two yellow marble is the same and three ye uh, non-yellow marble is the same so i will divide two factorial and three factorial right this is how i find out the number of arrangement for this five marble so which is 10 all right which is 10 so then you still need to like work out like this like mean one by one something like um okay yellow how many yellow we have 6 out of 13 times 5 out of 12 and then non-yellow start with 7 right so with 7 out of 11 6 out of 10 and 5 out of 9 all right then this number you need to multiply 10 okay so i will type it first later i will teach you a slightly faster way in these cases and i hope i will get the same result just now 422 two over 429 right i hope i did i didn't remember the answer wrongly 7 out of 11 6 out of 10 and 5 out of 9 and then multiply 10 here all right so what happened here is okay this is the result i get I mean, of course, I can continue to do for 3, 4, and 5. But this one actually will take me so many time here. But since you learn about permutation, so I, I'm going to use some permutation methods over here to actually solve these kind of questions. So the first, the first idea is, right, I want to select 1 yellow, 4 non-yellow, isn't it? 1 yellow and 4 non-yellow. You learn about combination. If I have 6 yellow, I want to select one and then i have seven non-yellow i want to select four and my sample space like just now is basically 13 i select five isn't it so let's see is this one actually give us the same result or not so 6c1 and then mount and then mount, multiply 7c4 all right then i get my result i will use my result divide by 13c5 so over here I will get the exactly same result without doing so much work so if you understand this logic i'm going to use this logic to do the second one see whether we can get the same result or not so over here i want to select um two yellow so six c2 we have six yellow here i want to select two isn't it and for non-yellow basically we have seven and we want to select three and out of the sample space is 13 c5 so let's see what happens so six c2 and then multiply seven c3 and then I will use my answer divide by 13 C5. And you will realize I get exactly the same result here. So therefore, I will use the same methods to do the 3, 4, and 5. And then I hope the final result actually I will get the same like 4, 2, 2 over 4, 2, 9. So therefore, okay, I need some space here. So I'm going to erase here to give you some idea. So therefore, uh, the first answer for x equals to 1 will be 70 out of 429. Then the second answer over here for yellow equals to 2, this one should be y. I accidentally root x, but you, you understand it means yellow equal to 2, right? So this one is 175 over 429. So if I want to get the third one, the third one is means what? I want to 3 yellow and 2 non-yellow, right? So if I want to get the 3 yellow, so actually it's, it's quite easy isn't it we have six yellow i select three and then we have seven non-yellow i will select two over uh 13 c5 
So I will do exactly like this. 6C3 multiplied 7C2 and divided by 13C5. Alright, the th next one is 140 over 429. Alright, because the good thing about this method is you don't even uh, need to go to figures out. You need to multiply 10 or other number like just now you need to multiply 5. You can actually straight away do this one. Actually, it's quite fast. So now I do the uh, yellow equals to 4. So it'll be 6C4 multiply 7C1 over 13C5. So 6C4 multiply 7C1 and then divided by 13C5. So over here, I will get 35 over 429. And then the last one, last one, I want to get all yellow, right? 5 yellow, so it will be 6C5 over 7C0 if you want. If not, you can just ignore it because 7C0 basically is 1. So divide by 13C5. So over here, I will do 6C5 and then divided by 13C5. So 6C5 divided by 13C5. So I will get the result which is 2 out of 429. So if I, I try to plus all these numbers together, see what I get. So I will use a 70 plus 175 plus 140 plus 35 plus 2. And then I get 422. All right, so yeah, so of course you ask about my recommendation. I always ask you to use the first two methods I introduced in this video. But if you insist you want to test, if I'm trying to find the yellow one by one, uh, did I get the same result? Yeah, so over here, I actually prove you I will get the same result as well. All right, this video actually is uh, quite long, longer than I expected. So I hope this video actually can help you understand better about probability because in SPM probability, normally you will not see the probability question uh, joined together with combination. So yeah, so I always think there's uh, other ways to solve it because you go to the STPM, you always see combination with probability, they are always together. But I don't think you should use it in SPM, but sometimes the question just go, a bit crazy so if you do not want to use a combination it's going to take you a lot of time to get the two to three marks so i will recommend students to try to explore the other methods like this one combination because recently spm they just love about the k but question anyways i hope you enjoy this video and i hope you learn something from this video if you like it i hope you can give me a thumbs up and share this video to your friend okay i will see you guys in the next video bye bye